In today's AR-15 video, we're going to field strip, disassemble, clean, lubricate, and reassemble an AR-15 rifle. This is a Stag Arms Stag 15 in 5.56 uh, or 223 caliber. We're also going to disassemble, lubricate, and reassemble the bolt carrier group. Some of the things you're going to need to clean your AR-15. Uh, a basic gun cleaning kit is always a great thing to have. A boar snake. You don't need this if you have a gun cleaning kit, but I find this the easiest, quickest way, as you'll see, to clean the inside of your barrel. You're going to need a good gun brush. Some cheap toothbrushes will all also work. And you're going to need a solvent of some sort. I use original gun oil, mostly because it's non-toxic and uh, doesn't have an odor, so I can use it in the house. You're going to need a punch uh, for some of the more intricate disassembly and some pipe cleaners are great to have and if you're going to use the gun cleaning kit to clean the inside of your barrel you're going to need some patches which are just pieces of cotton um, appropriate for your caliber so 22 caliber is what your AR-15 most likely is it's possible you have a bigger one you could have a 308 but make sure you use the right size patches and obviously some cotton swabs you can use other solvents like copies number nine. You could spray your uh, separate components clean with gun scrubber. It's pretty messy, but it does a great job. You have to do it over a trash can and it does stink pretty good. And as far as lubrication, you could use a heavier duty oil. Um, I like to use this if I'm gonna be um, really shooting a whole lot. And this is Slip 2000, this is a heavy duty. It's just thicker and it tends to lubricate and stay on the components really well but today we're going to use original gun oil okay let's get started so first things first we're going to unload no magazine verify no round is in the chamber once you're 100 percent sure your gun is unloaded you want to put it on fire put it in a safe direction press the trigger and that's going to make it easier for the uh, to clean the lower when we get to that point now to take the AR-15 apart, you're going to see two pins, one, two. These are your takedown pins. You just press them from this side, flip it over, take the rear one out first, and the gun will come apart like this. You want to set it down, grab a hold of the other one, pull it up all the way, and the two parts will separate. Okay, next we're going to remove the bolt carrier and the charging handle. So that's very simple. You just want to carefully pull this out. Pull out the bolt carrier group, and we're going to be able to clean that. Now the charging handle lifts up and pulls out. So the first thing you want to do, you're going to find there's a little cotter pin right here. And that's what holds the firing pin inside so you can get any any little thing little screwdriver you might even be able to get your fingernail just kind of comes out real easy just pull that right out that's all that that is and once that is out the firing pin should fall falls right out so it sits inside kind of like that so that's out now the next thing we want to do is I'm going to press this in, but you just want to turn that 90 degrees like that, and then that will pull right out. That holds the bolt in, and that hole right there is where the firing pin goes through when it's lined up. And now, with just a little bit of force, you can pull that out. What I'm going to use uh, for this is original gun oil. This is actually a CLP, which is a cleaner, lubricant, and protectant. So this will not only clean, but it's also going to lubricate it. But we're going to use it as a cleaner right now. So what I usually do, I just kind of coat all the pieces with this and let it sit for a while. Loosen up the dirt. Just get some, especially around here, this is a pretty good area that gets pretty, pretty gunked up. So I'm just going to kind of get it on here so it can get started working. 
you can you can wear gloves but this stuff is non-toxic so i'm not going to worry about that right now i'm just going to wipe off my hands after just going to really kind of can use it so i'm just going to kind of keep this on here a little we're going to want to clean out the inner part here as well so in here we're going to get a little in here like i said this is right now we're just gonna get everything a little wet with the cleaner and we're going to let it sit for a while okay it's been uh about 10 minutes or so now i'm going to start cleaning and they don't have to be absolutely spotless All right. that one very helpful product I picked up lately is uh, pipe cleaners these are super useful for getting in some of the tighter spaces One particular area that gets pretty good going is right around here. If you get a little little build up on this area, you can just take some emery emery cloth here. This is like 1,000 grit sandpaper, and just lightly kind of run it through there. There, that looks beautiful. Pipe cleaner is perfect for cleaning out the firing pin area here. One very important area to get clean on the bolt is right underneath of the extractor lip here. We can get in here even better by pushing out this pin right here. And if you squeeze it, you can push this pin right out, right on out of there. Just squeeze that pin will come out this piece will lift right off of here and there's a little spring under there as you can see just put a little gun oil on there let it sit for a minute or two and then you can really get in there with a pipe cleaner you can go right through that little hole there all right and we can get further down inside here. Make sure we got all the crud out of there. Blow it out if there's any cotton fibers in there. And then now we can just set this back on there. Push this back in. You can see the hole, gonna squeeze it down. And you can push that pin right back in with your fingers. That particular piece. For this one, I'm just going to wipe down now. One other place you want to be sure to get is right in here. Just get that real good. You can push that all the way in. And that comes out on the inside. So let's get all this cleaned off. So now we're going to put the bolt carrier back together. So we're just going to put a drop of lubricant on the firing pin. Smear that around. Actually, we don't want much, so just a little bit on there. Going to put a drop here and a drop here. Just trying to get it on the outside, get that a little lubed up. Put a, just a drop on this piece. Smear around a little, and even a little drop on this cotter pin. Make it easier to put together. All right, so now to put it back together, take the bolt carrier, take the bolt with the extractor up on the same side as these little holes so it's going to go in this way now this 
hole here, if you look down in there, wants to line up with the hole on the bolt carrier. So line those holes up just like that. Take this piece and drop it in there. If the holes aren't lined up, you might want to need to turn this slightly. Push that in, turn it 90 degrees. Kind of hold that in place. Take your firing pin. It's going to go right down into that middle hole there. It'll drop in, push it down, make sure it's down all the way. Take your cotter pin, just slide it right on in there, and you're good to go. Look at this and make sure your extractor is about in the 11 o'clock position, and that little pin there, that's in about the 4 o'clock position. Okay, that's how it should look. All right. Now we're going to go to the lower, and we're going to clean this up. If your hammer is back like this, you don't want to press your trigger. You don't want that to come flying up and hit this piece. That could cause damage. So what I would recommend, place this in, select on fire, put your finger here, press down on it, press the trigger, and just let that come up slowly. So now we have much better access down into here to clean this up. So we just want to get some cotton swabs, a little bit of gun oil, and just clean that out as best we can. Just kind of wipe it. There, This is not too dirty at all, but I'm going to go ahead in here and, and just wipe it out some. Just going to get a swab, put a drop or two of cleaning oil on there. And I'm going to go in. Just kind of clean any parts that need to be clean. There we go. I said that's pretty clean. Then I'll take a, a drop or two and let that fall down right onto some of the pivot points there. Just one drop in each place. Last but not least, and you can do it in any order you want. We're going to clean the upper. So we're going to clean out this whole area here, which again is not terribly dirty. We'll clean this out. We're going to clean this area in here. And then we're going to clean the barrel all the way, all the way through the inside of the barrel. I'm going to take some original gun oil. Just going to put a few drops on each side. And then I'm going to take a brush and smear it around a little bit. Put the brush in there and get everything a little bit wet with the cleaner. Right, and after this has sat in there for a little bit, then we're just going to start wiping everything out. Just get some cotton rags. I use a cut up t shirt. I'm just going to get in here and again since I'm using original gun oil which is non-toxic I'm not worried about getting this cleaner on my hands. I'm going to clean down here in this area down in here and the best way to get that area is with a brush. So you want to get, get a brush about the right size. Most kits come with a bunch of different sizes. Get some original gun oil get a little oil on the copper brush. The brush is made of copper so it does the job without damaging any components and then just push it right down in here. Then after you got that brushed out, loosened up some of that dirt, then you're going to get yourself a mop to clean it all up down in there. Clean that up real good. <laughs> Might have to blow that out. Get any loose pieces out. That looks good. Next thing we want to actually do is clean the clean inside the barrel. So the, there's a couple ways to clean the barrel. My preferred way, quickest way, easiest way, 
is to get a boar snake. Now this is a 22 caliber boar snake and this is a 223 caliber rifle so this is going to work. It's got built-in copper brushes on it that are going to scrape the inside for us. A little original gun oil just just make that kind of wet on both of those brushes. Get that nice and soaked a little bit. We're going to feed this down into the barrel and then we can and we can pull it through can do it this way and those brushes are going to scour the inside and then the rest of the boar snake is going to wipe all that clean as it goes through all right and i'm going to do that a couple of times all right now that's going to be a nice clean barrel so if you don't have a boar snake get yourself one but if you don't have a boar snake get your uh, gun cleaning kit make yourself a nice long rod like this okay and on the end you want to either put one of these it's got a, like an eye in there or this jag it'll work either way and you're going to get some you're going to get a bunch of small patches like this if you use the jag you're just going to push it through like that but i prefer to use this eye hook here so what you do is you just kind of feed this through the hole you want to soak this patch with gun oil or solvent whatever you're using get it nice and wet and then you want to push this through the barrel just like this okay you want to push that all the way through you want to pull that out and discard it it's got a little bit on it but that's not dirty at all because we did clean it already with the boar snake and then you're going to pull it back out put another patch in there soak with gun oil push that through and you're going to keep doing that until it comes out clean so that's your other option for cleaning the barrel. All right, now before we put the AR-15 back together, we want to put some lubrication in some important places. So the bolt carrier primarily slides on these rails on the side. So we're going to put a couple drops on these rails. And we're going to put a drop right here. This surface rubs against the hammer and cocks the hammer as it goes backward. And then I'm just going to put a light coating around the outside of this bolt carrier just kind of to help protect it from corrosion and add a little additional lubrication. Not too much. We don't want it to be crazy. But definitely want some lube on these rails right here all right and the other place we want to lube we want to lube the ears on the on the charging handle and you can see some of the wear on this side so that is definitely sliding up against something as it's moving so I'm gonna just coat this with some oil all right now I'm gonna start putting the upper back together so this will slide in, drop down in the slots on the inside, put it in about halfway. And on your bolt carrier, the bolt has to be pulled out for it to go in. It won't go in if it's pushed in. So pull that out, slide that right in there. And then these two are going to snap right in there together. Okay, all we have to do now is put the lower and the upper back together. Make sure your pins on the lower are pulled all the way out like that. So we're just going to line it up. Put that one in. Push that pin in. Make sure those pins are in all the way. And make sure 
sure make sure the bolt carrier moves back and feels right you can try the trigger make sure the safety mechanism works and you are good to go if you found this video valuable please hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel as I've got more and more videos going to be coming out. Thanks for watching.